We will complete the following t-table for the function f of x equals square root of x minus 4. So I have provided a table over here to the left, a t-table we call it, with a column for x and a column for f of x. I've also included four x values at which we're going to, or which we're going to use to complete the table. I have x equals 1, x equals 4, x equals 36, and x equals 100. So for the first value, x equals 1, we're going to calculate f of 1. In other words, we're going to stick 1 into the rule for the function. So looking at the rule, we have a square root symbol and a minus 4, and the object that's under the square root is the variable x. So for the first line, we're letting x equal 1, so I'm going to insert the number 1. Now the square root of the number is the number which, when multiplied by itself, equals 1. The positive would be considered to be the principal root. So since 1 times 1 is equal to 1, the square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 4, of course, is negative 3. So the output of the function f of x for the corresponding input of 1 would be negative 3. Second of all, let's do f of 4. So, as before, we have a square root of an object minus 4, and the object under the square root is the variable x. So for this example, we're replacing the input x with 4. Of course, the square root of 4 is 2, since 2 times 2 is 4. And if we subtract 4 from that, we end up getting the value of negative 2. So the output for 4 is negative 2. Now, let's get a little bit bigger here, eh? We've got f of 36. So the input is x equals 36 this time. Just as before, it's square root of something minus 4, and the something is the number that was put in to this particular machine. In other words, 36. The square root of 36 is 6 because 6 times 6 equals 36. And when we subtract 4 from this, we get the value of 2. So the output in this case is 2. And finally, let's do a real big number, three-digit number. We'll find out what the function evaluates to when we put in the value of 100. So again, square root of the number that's being put in, which is 100, minus 4. The square root of 100 is the number 10, because 10 times 10 equals 100, minus 4. 10 minus 4 is the number known as 6. So the output that corresponds to the input of 100 is the number 6.